The first differential equation, or DE, that I'm going to solve is uh, obviously a separable differential equation because you can uh, take the x stuff on one side and the y stuff on another. So first of all, I'm going to take this y and shift it to the uh, the side that has the dy term as well. So 1 by y dy equals all of this uh, on shifted towards the right. So that's going to give me dx up here and down here I'm going to have x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. And now integrating will give me uh, the natural log of y on one side and for the right hand side in order to integrate I'm going to need the partial fraction decomposition of the rational function. So that is going to yield negative 1 by 2 x plus 1 uh, plus 3 by 2 times 3 x plus 1. So now I can integrate and uh, what I'm going to get is the, the uh, negative of the of one half of the natural log of x plus one and over here I'm gonna have one half of the uh, natural log of three x plus one plus uh, the constant of integration. Now since everything here is in the natural log form I'm gonna write the constant as a natural log of the of some positive constant c. So now to apply some of the laws of logarithms for example, the uh, coefficients can be converted into exponents, right? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a negative of the natural log of the square root of x plus one plus the natural log of the square root of three x plus one plus the natural log of c. And uh, as per more laws on logarithms, I can combine all of this into a single logarithm where the argument is going to be uh, c times 3x plus 1 because they're both positive and for the negative term, the negative uh, logarithmatic term, I'm going to have to place it in the denominator. So since uh, the logarithms are equal and we know uh, ln of x is a one-to-one uh, -one function because it's increasing, I can now remove the logs and just equate the arguments. So y equals c times the square root of 3x plus 1 divided by the square root of x plus 1. And now to figure out the value of the constant c. Well for that I'm going to make use of the uh, initial condition. Uh, the initial value condition was y of 1 equals 1. So that means when I plug in x equals to 1 I should have y equal to 1. So 1 equals c times the square root of 4 divided by the square root of 2 which should uh, reduce to 2 by the square root of 2, which is in fact the uh, c times the square root of 2. So that implies that c should be equal to the reciprocal of the square root of 2. And there you have it. Uh, for your final answer, all you have to do is replace c by uh, its value. That is 1 by the uh, square root of 2. And that's the required solution. The second problem is, once again, obviously a, separ a separable differential equation so you can take all the y stuff on one side and the x stuff on the other side. So uh, I'm going to take all of this onto the left where the dy is and I'm going to get 2 minus y by y times 1 minus y dy equal to dx and integrating uh, on the left, we see that once again, we're going to need partial fraction decomposition. So y plus something by 1 minus y and uh, 2 over here would work. And uh, yeah, I think one, 1 would be enough over here. And all of this is going to be equal to this integral, which is just x plus the constant of integration c. So integrating the left-hand side is once again really easy. This is going to be the natural log of y times 2, which is just a natural log of y squared, right? So natural log y squared plus um, rather a negative sign is needed over here. So minus the natural log of 1 minus y equals x plus c. And once again, using the power of logarithms, I'm going to uh, convert, I'm going to combine them into a single logarithm with division replacing uh, subtraction. So the natural log of y squared by 1 minus y equals x plus c. 
So I'm not going to leave it over here. I'm going to, before calculating the constant of integration, I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm actually going to convert it into uh, an exponential form by taking uh, the uh, exponentiation or exponentiating both sides. I don't know what you call it. I honestly don't know. So that will just cancel the natural logs and give me y squared by one minus y equal to e to the x, and I can write this using the laws of exponentials as e to the x times e to the c. Now, uh, e to the c is just a is just another constant, right? It's another constant, so I can replace, I can give it a different name. I'm going to call e to the c as a. So, now to figure out the value of the constant a, I can do that by referring back to my initial condition. So, the uh, initial value condition was y of 0 equals negative 1. So if y of 0 equals negative 1, if you plug in uh, x equals 0, you get a times 1, which is a. And uh, if y equals negative 1, you're going to have 1 by 2. So there you have it. That's the value of the uh, uh, constant a. And hence the implicit relationship between y and x is going to be y squared by 1 minus y equal to 1 half of e to the x, which is the required solution. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope the video was useful to you.